Hi there! In this session, we're going to learn how to use a spline function to perform cubic spline data interpolation. And it's very similar to interp1. And you know from previous sessions that we can use interp1 function, interp1, uh, to perform cubic spline method interpolation using this or this switch as a method. However, we have a spline function too, and you see the documentation here. It accepts x and y, and it returns the values of interpolated series in these points as s, and it can also return piecewise polynomial representation of the fitted model. And you can use both of these methods, both of these styles, to call and use the spline method. Let's perform a simple task and let's transform this to, for example, fitting some path in two-dimensional space. And that has enormous applications, for example, in mobile robot path planning and optimal control and other fields. And you have some handle points and you use those handle points to create some smooth path in the space can be two dimensional or three dimensional let's perform a simple task and let's create a, an empty file clc clear close all and let's define x as for example one two five and three and let's define y as this zero one two and two and you can for example, define xx as linear space from 0 to 6, for example, 100 points in this range. And you can calculate yy, the interpolated values, using a spline function providing the independent variable x, dependent variable y, and the values where you want to evaluate the interpolated model. And that's it. If you figure, if you create a figure and plot, plot x and y using some r colored red colored o markers and let's hold on and let's plot the xx and yy uh, let's use some blue color and let's define the line width here and 1.5 and legend data points and spline model and let's make the grid on let's save the program and run it and you see that a spline model fitted to the data and if you add some more data points for example let's sort these values and for example for four you have a value of one for example and if you run that's it and for example a value for 1.5 here the middle of this range and for example the value is minus one and that's a smooth interpolation of the data and you can add other points and that will create the model however sometimes we'd like to express a smooth path in two-dimensional or three-dimensional space and we can use this using spline as a possible method and let's do it let's create a mechanism that produces smooth passes using the using some handle points okay let's create a let's start a new program and let's define some random handle points for example x min equals to zero we can say a lower bound and upper bound equals to 10 for example and let's start with x as uniformly distributed random numbers from lower bound to upper bound how many points we'd like to have n points in one n rows and one column and we use three points here and just like the x we have some y and if you plot these handle points in this two-dimensional space you'll get this let's save this and run it 
this is a handle this is a handle point and this is a handle point too you can add some more points as well and that's it but we are going to for example fix some source and destination points to in addition to these points and for example our source is zero and zero and our final destination is five and five so let's add we can define source as zero and zero and we can define destination as five and five and we can add the first element of source here and then x itself sorry let's convert these to row vectors and then let's add the first element of destination point and as well as y we can define in this way and if you call this you can get this equation from zero to zero and that's the final destination and these points are somehow connected to previous and next points and we'll have some smooth paths connecting our source to destination and that's a problem that's a method we need to solve in problems in various problems for example mobile robot path planning and optimal control problems and various problems and okay let's define a variable named t which is our independent variable and that's t equal to lin space from 0 to 1 and can be just 1 to number of elements of x and it can be lin space from 0 to 1 and number of elements of x as the number of elements in t and they are almost same this is our independent variable and if you can plot for example x and y versus t and you can perform interpolation of x assuming that t is our independent variable and y assuming t is our independent variable so x and y are both dependent to t and we are going to perform two interpolation functions and then we combine the results of these two interpolation processes and we get a smooth pass and so let's perform this with and let's define t t as lin space of 0 to 1 and with you can say it as m m is 100 points and x x as spline from t to x and evaluate it in t t and just like this we calculate the value of y y and let's plot it hold on plot x x and y y some blue colored line widths equal to 1.5 and let's find the legend handle points and we have uh, the final path here and x label as x and y label as y and let's plot this that's it we have a smooth pass from this point to this point and uh, if you remove some midpoints for example reduce it to three you'll get this pass and it can be path of a flight or path for a mobile robot whatever you want but that's smooth and remember the path is completely generated using three handle points the source and destination are fixed and we use three handle points to create various possible paths from source to destination and that makes possible to search among possible paths possible smooth paths which are defined as a spline cubic spline interpolated functions and this enables us to for example solve path planning problems using genetic algorithm or other metaheuristics 
And that's the basic idea behind one of our source codes published on Yarpus, and you can get it from yarpus.com if you want. And that's it. We just created a mechanism to generate random paths from this source to this destination. You can mark source and destination with different markers, possible if you want. And so if you, for example, want to calculate the length of this vector xx and yy, you have, if you want, you can calculate the difference, the derivatives of xx and yy and calculate the velocity if you assume that tt is a time. And other calculations are possible. And that's a very useful idea to perform, to create such smooth paths using this method. And you can play with the parameters and numbers to get some other types of paths here. And that's it. We used spline to perform cubic spline data interpolation in two-dimensional space to create smooth paths.